Hi, my name is Cedric and I have a question for you. How many of the apps installed on your phone do not require internet? Most apps nowadays actually require internet. I mean, if you're, if you're a Twitter user like me, well, gotta have internet to fetch the tweets. Or if you're working together through, through Discord, you gotta have internet to get the new messages. So as an app developer, that's why it's super important to gain insights in the networking layer of your app. Today, I wanna show you three cool new things you can do with the built-in network inspector and expo. Let's dive in. So over here, I created a new app using the expo router template. In this template, I've replaced the second tab with a screen called the inspiration screen. In here, I want to do two things. First, I wanna load the user information from GitHub by GitHub username. And secondly, I want to load some random images from Unsplashed. Now, when both of them are loaded, I want to render the full name of the user as the title of the page, and I want to render the unsplashed images as a scrollable list. Now, what we currently have is loading indicators. That is because we haven't implemented them yet. But before we do, let's open the debugger. You can open the debugger by pressing J in the terminal. Now, the window that opens should feel familiar to people already working on web. That is because it's the Chrome inspector. So in here, we have access to multiple tabs, primarily the console, sources, and network tab. So go ahead and click the network tab. This tab will show you all the information from the requests and responses that your app will make. Now, we don't have any yet because we haven't implemented that yet. So let's go ahead and enable that one. When enabled, we can see that we're actually making an API request to api.github.com dash users dash by Cedric. Now this makes sense, but the text isn't rendering properly. It just says, hi. It's supposed to render my full name. So let's validate with the response that we actually get. So in here, we can click the preview tab. So the preview tab, will actually show you the response that we get from the request made. In here, we can actually validate if we have the full name. And as you can see, it's actually stored on the name. So let's go ahead and change that. And there we go. We just solved a typing issue that may occur whenever you load external data that is untyped. So that is one of the features that you can do with the network inspector. Now let's implement the images. Let's go back to the component and enable the unsplashed images. Now, as you can see, it is loading, but it's actually pretty slow. So let's go back to the network inspector and see what's going on. So we can see that we actually have an API response from unsplashed with all the information that we want. We even have AXIF, AXIF data, we have location data, um, we have URLs, and as you can see, there are multiple URLs for multiple image dimensions. So the image itself was pretty slow. And as you can see on the bottom here, 28.2 MB was transferred just by rendering this list, meaning that we're not really optimizing the images or the assets at all. So let's go back to the code and figure out exactly what's going on. When rendering the image, we provide the URL to the full image, meaning that we kind of have a very large image to render here. Since we're using a sort of a thumbnail, we can probably trim that down a bit. So let's see what's available here. In here, we can see that we have a full, raw, regular, small, small S3 and a thumbnail. So let's try the thumbnail first. Let's change full to thumb and re-render. Now going back here, you can see that we still have the old information over here. Now, one thing you can do is just clear all the requests made already, or we can select a different time frame where we want to focus on. So now that we focus on only the API requests we want to focus on, we can see on the bottom that we slimmed down the data transferred from 28.4 MB to just 147 kilobytes. Now, this feature of the network inspector can actually help you detect unoptimized assets, right, by just loading your app. But as you can see on the left, I'm not super happy with the quality of the images. So let's try another one. Let's go back to the API request. 
we can check out the URLs again. And let's see, let's try regular now. Now, before we save, I want to delete all of the existing network data. You can do that by pressing the clear button on the top left. Going back to the code, saving it, everything is re-rendered and refetched. We can see that we now have 2.8 MB rendered. Now it's still a lot, but it's way better than 10 times as much. And the best part, the network inspector is just one of the features within the DevTools experience in Expo. So go ahead, open the inspector today in SDK 49 and higher. Press J in the terminal.